Hello friends, this is Low Rate Hitman. What I got today is a little solo action on the map Sea Town. You know, and I did say solo. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at the wrong at the beginning of this map. There's already a host migration, you know, and it's acting like it's throwing me into like a, a theater mode or something. I, every once in a while it does some kooky crap like that. But uh, what I want to touch on with you guys today, you know, I'm going to touch on this gameplay, but I want to also talk about the trailer I've seen for Black Ops 2. And I know you guys are probably saying, wow, Black Ops 2, I've already got my fill of that, you know. And I'm going to touch on that as well, you know. But first I want to say, this first objective on C-Town, this spot right here is the best spot that i found overall on this objective to hang at. Because when you're playing against people that are objective-minded, a lot of times they just rush straight for the objective, which this team over here, that's all they're doing is when they're dying, they're rushing straight for the objective. They're not trying to simply just flank around and try and kill anybody from behind because if they had done that, they would have easily killed me, you know. So if you're playing against this type of team, you know, uh, <laughs> this is the best spot, you know. As you notice, I've, I've pretty much held it the whole time, you know, and I'm going to. So now I'm going to touch on this Black Ops 2 trailer that I've seen. I'm going to put a link to this in the description in case for some reason nobody got a chance to see it, which it's always going to be there. You know, you're only going to see more and more, you know, articles and videos about this now since, you know, they released the official trailer. And I also want to touch on, you know, what's been going on for the past couple weeks. You've probably been subscribed to a lot of people and you've probably seen a lot of, you know, so-called Black Ops stuff, you know. And I want you to kind of look at, you know, what people's been telling you you know and uh speculating on you know and this and that you know does it match anything that you see in this trailer i really don't think so because i think the trailer was a shock i think it's awesome you know the direction that black ops 2 is going in i would have thought that modern warfare would have took you know but they didn't and i'm not dissing modern warfare in any way whatsoever i'm just saying it's a it looks like a futuristic game there's futuristic weapons uh vehicles air support you know and I'm, I can almost say there's going to be futuristic kill streaks, support streaks, however they set their game up because, like I said, everything's been speculation up to a point and now they're starting to release things and so now we'll get to know more information. So just a little bit of advice is, you know, it's good to get caught up in everything, but don't get caught up in what everybody tells you, you know. A lot of people are doing it for views, likes, subs, you know, because this is the dead zone time of the year, like I said before. And uh, it being the dead zone, you know, people, it's like, Oprah went for a Jerry Springer, you know, it's just going to be, you know, gossip and news and gossip and false news, you know, but I I'm glad they released it to where we can finally get a look at what it, you know, it might possibly be like. So with the link that I throw in the description, I would like for you to sub to this because it's Call of Duty, okay, that is their YouTube channel. When they got new trailers and new releases and stuff like that, it goes there first. I'm not saying it won't, it's not, it might not be shown there first. It might be shown on TV or something first, but it's going to end up there. And that's going to be a reliable source for, for this news. Unless, you know, somebody that's in PR has got a YouTube channel and you get their stuff from there, you know, and the copyrights are all cool and everything. You're going to get the news that you're supposed to get. So what I'm getting from this initial trailer is that there's going to be a lot of urban assault vehicles, you know, futuristic urban assault vehicles. I mean, they kind of look like the assault droid on here, you know, but <laughs> if you can imagine them on steroids and 30 times bigger, you know. I, I kind of thought that I was watching a mech assault trailer, you know, which I always like mech assault or whatnot. And, you know, a lot of people probably going to be turned off from that, you know. I, I think once you watch it, you're going to get an idea, or if you've already watched it, you're going to get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's a totally new direction, it looks like, you know, and if that's even what the gameplay is going to be about, it could just be the game... The game's going to lead up to that point, you know, and none of that stuff will actually be in the game. Who knows? Like I said, the only way that you'll ever know is once they release the information that you need or that you're looking for. So overall, I was impressed with the cinematic trailer review that they put out there because truly I don't think there was any gameplay unless some of the horseback riding was actually gameplay, you know, which that'd be cool if you could ride a horse, you know, but hell, who knows, you know. But as always, I thank you guys for stopping by. You know, I'm going to try and start doing some different games or something. I know this is getting old and redundant for you guys, you know. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday evening. And I hope that Wednesday's even better. And as always, I thank you. Please hit me up on Skype, Twitter, PS3, the Xbox, Low Rate Hitman. And until next time, thanks a lot.